Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sim back with another episode of The Sim Squad. Hi! Today, I have like such an interesting one for you. I'm so excited to do this one because I've been planning it for some time, but then I got busy with all the awards and all the other new, new perfume reviews and everything. And this one kind of took a backseat, but I think it's high time that I did this. And I'm super excited because it's something I've not done before on my channel at least. So, I mean, I've not done it ever anywhere else either, but I'm going to do layering combinations today suggested by you. So if you remember, I took a poll from you guys. Uh, it was uh, not a poll, actually. It was a uh, community post on YouTube. And I asked you guys to suggest me the best layering combos that you think, in your opinion, are amazing. So what I'm going to do is today pick one by one, each and every one that you guys have recommended and test it and try it right here <laughs> so that I can tell you my opinion on these combinations. And maybe you guys can also like learn to combine some perfumes. Now, by the way, I'm really bad at like mixing perfumes. I literally take perfumes and spray like different, different ones. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I've been trying to make notes of all the ones I like, but I'm so bad at that. You know, I keep forgetting to make the notes and I just wanted like everybody to assist me with this one and there's so many combinations over here that I use as well but maybe not intentionally you know so the first one is from uh, a per uh, I'm gonna put the names over here along with the message they've sent me so the first one is uh, Humbra with just about anything <laughs> which is true but I'm in love with alien goddess not Middle Eastern but worth a try so let's see our Khamra with Alien Goddess. So this of course is the original Khamra and I have the Alien Goddess and we're gonna try both. So let me layer first the Khamra, of course, because this will be more of a stronger base and then overlay it with, all right, let's see. Yup, <laughs> yes, this works, this definitely works. It's uh, giving Khamra a little bit more coconut it's giving it a little bit more creaminess now and the florals the white florals that are like quite strong in the alien goddess it's working really well guys this one is like working really well so these two is a hit for me guys i'm gonna go a little super fast i'm just gonna tell you if i like it or i do not like it because if i go deeply into all the notes and everything this video is gonna be like the whole year will go in just making this video so this one is a big 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 tick a big yes for me the next one she has recommended is uh, Nasheet with Vanilla 20. Okay, so this is something even I've been recommending on my channel because you can't, like Vanilla 28 has so many good layering combinations, especially if you need the vanilla to be a little bit more active and more uh, prominent, you try and like layer. So Nasheet was one of them that I felt like maybe I need a little bit more vanilla. So I have your Nasheet here. Let's spray the Nasheet and then add vanilla 28 i have the 10 ml if you guys know i have all the kiali fragrance okay that just squirted not sprayed okay now in this case maybe we need something stronger so vanilla 28 although it is working its magic it's giving it that sweetness that it's uh, kind of like lacking although i think this perfume on its own is amazing but if you do want it to have like a stronger vanilla i would probably think of layering nasheet with um i was gonna say billy eilish you can either lay it with billy eilish or with um, nebras so nebras is here let's see how this goes <laughs> yeah see now it's kind of like that strong uh praline caramelly vanilla and then you have your nasheet so this is working very well as well so thank you for that like, yeah, I know that Vanilla 28 maybe did not work or maybe I need to spray a lot more Vanilla 28 and a little bit less of this one. The next one she has suggested is Modest Deux with Choco Mask. Here's my Modest Deux. And now let's get the Choco Mask over here. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get like combinations with Choco Mask and Vanilla 28 a lot. So I'm going to keep it here on my table. Oh my God. Okay, that is really, really good. Now this is something I do as well, right? So I mix Modest Deux with like just about everything. I mix it with uh, Nibras, I mix it with um, Kiali's Vanilla 28, I mix it with Ebar. But yes, the Choco Mask is definitely like giving it that little chocolatey feeling that you want like stronger in this perfume. 
and this is working for me it's working like really really well for me so i love this combination now the thing is i need to start making notes of this so that i can i mean i have them like screenshot in my computer but i need to make a note of it and stick it somewhere over here so i know what layering combinations to use early in the morning when i've not had my coffee and i'm going to work <laughs> there are some that i'm not being able to because i don't have these perfumes but you know what um if you do try it yourself this is uh, Eldo's Soul of My Soul with Montal's Roses Musk. So I have Roses Musk, but I don't have Eldo's Soul of My Soul. I don't even know what that perfume is, so I can't do that. And then somebody, uh, and the same person commented, Latafa's Uden and Montal Roses Musk. Also, I do not have Uden, so I'm so sorry I can't like actually do that one. Now we have another one, which is Zerjov's Golden Delilah or any coffee dominant fragrance layered with Choco Musk and Kiali's Vanilla 28. Okay, any coffee dominant fragrance. Now the thing is that I have French coffee, <laughs> which is a little bit too much, so let's see, because you know, we've been looking for layering combos for that fragrance, haven't we? Okay, so I have my French coffee over here. I have the new packaging. I'm gonna spray just one of this. So if you know, I told you this smells exactly like Copico candy. If you had Copico candy, literally the same scent now let's layer it with vanilla 28 since this perfume is squirting i need to spray it like ah, no i'm just wasting the perfume and she said chocomas so let's spray all of that together and see what we get Oof, it's definitely beautiful it's definitely lowering the strength of french coffee but it's still not enough maybe we need to do some more chocomask it's just made this perfume much, much, much more creamier and a little bit more chocolate dominant. So yeah, it does reduce the coffeeness, the, the stink of the coffee. Like this is one of those things that literally if I spray this, I do not want to have coffee after that, but I'm a coffee addict. So it's a very weird feeling that I do not want to have coffee after I spray this. So it is smelling pretty good, actually. I think it once it dries down, let me set this aside because once it dries down, I have a feeling this is going to be excellent. The next one she has suggested is Khamra Kahawa and she is hoping to try that combination too. Okay, so we're going to get our Khamra Kahawa and we're going to spray it with Vanilla 28. I'm being so careful while spraying this and we're going to spray Choco Musk and see how it goes. Let's see, I'm excited for this one because you know Kahawa, Khamra Kahawa is one of my favorite fra fragrances right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does, it does. Oh, it does really work. It's kind of changed the perfume to a creamy. It's like the, these two, when you're adding these two, the perfumes are just getting like creamier. So I like it. I like the perfume the way it is, but the layering combination definitely does work. So I hope you got your uh, Khamra Kahwa and I hope you've tried it. And do tell me if you liked it or not. So I know if you liked it or not. In my opinion, it's stunning. This combination also works. Oh my god, I think all these are gonna work. I don't think there's gonna be any layering combinations from you guys that I will not like. Okay, so she has suggested so many. I'm so happy that you did. It's Haya with Vanilla 28. All right, let's get our... We have our Haya. And let's get our Vanilla 28. Oh, why did I not think of this before? Oh my god, this one is like a big winner. Oh my god, this is smelling so good. Already Haya is one of like my favorite fragrances, right? For spring, summer. But like with this layering combination, I'm planning to get the Vanilla 28 in a, in a big ass bottle. Like I just said a bad word. 10, 100 ml. You know, I have a 10 ml. I plan to get like 100 ml so I can use it more generously. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a big winner. I'm going to try and put ratings. So what I feel, how good the rating, the combination is. This is definitely a 10 out of 10 combination. It's, oh, it's fascinating. I think this is just like, like make a new perfume, like with these two, you know? <laughs> she also wants to try Haya with sparkling lychee. Okay, we have a sparkling lychee. So let's spray the Haya. Haya with sparkling lychee, I wonder. Oh, okay, this is a little too sweet for me. It's nice, but it's kind of becoming a little juvenile which makes sense because this is a very candy scent. Like if, if you remember in my review, I said this smells like the heart candy, the lychee flavored heart candy. And it's just overpowering this perfume a little bit too much. So Haya is kind of lost in the, in the mix, you know, so it's not really working. So the last one she suggested was Silky Santal 
the wedding and Haya. Works and works like a charm. Oh my goodness. Who are you? You're giving me such good suggestions. This is Joanna the singer. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the combinations with uh, Haya. I think these are genius and I think all of y'all need to try it. First of all, this is like ridiculously cheap, right? So she's given us like a lot of choices and she's also asked us to test Fakhar Rose with some Kealis. So we're going to test it with Vanilla 28. That's the first one she suggested. This thing is squirting like in one direction. Honestly, it's kind of not making any difference. So I would not, I'm not being able to appreciate it with uh, Vanilla 28. Let's see, because you know what, this uh, Fakhar is like a very strong perfume. It's a very wa strong white floral. She's asked us to try it with the uh, Invite Only Amber by Kiali. Let's try that. Oh, okay, this is, this is really good. This is creating like a brand new niche fragrance. My God, Joanna, you have like some really good tricks up your sleeve. This is like really, really good. I am loving it. No, oh, 10 out of 10. This one is like, uh, you know, the ones which I like, I'm not going to rate them. I'm going to like give a big like thumbs up for the ones which I'm like liking the most. And this is intense. This is beautiful. This is like, you know what? In white only, like on its own also is amazing. But like just with adding these like strong white florals, it's like completely changed the composition. It's a very strange fragrance and I'm really liking it. This is like the perfect pear fragrance if you want with amber. Oh my gosh, stunning. And then she also asked me to test Fakhar with uh, Oudgasm Vanilla Oud and Oudgasm Vanilla, sorry, Rose Oud. But let's check this one first with the Vanilla Oud. Yep, definitely working. It's definitely working. It's just making this perfume into a, like a beautiful white floral. I never imagined using Fakhar as a uh, layering fragrance. And oh my gosh, like, you know, I can imagine the number of possibilities that you can have with this one. Incredible, incredible. Wow, thank you, Joanna, for making me discover all these insane combinations. And now let's try the Fakhar with the last one, which is the Oudgasm Rose Oud. This one is also kind of squirting. Mm, okay, very, very nice. This is making the rose oud a little bit more floral. So while you have your rose, the coldness and everything of like that perfume, you also have this strong white florals. It's making it a little incensey also, which is like a little weird for me. Like just imagine how these like, how cool it must be to make your own perfumes. Like I can't imagine like mixing all the ingredients and testing and trying. This is insane. All these combinations were amazing with Fakhar, but the winner with Fakhar was definitely Invite Only Amber. Now, the next one is Azdaf Amirat Al Arab with Ard Al Zafran I Am Queen. Oh, I just decluttered it, so I Am Queen is gone. Oh, I'm so sorry, I can't do that one. Now, we have another person who says Shagaf Ud Azrak with Shagaf Ud Ahmar. So it's a red with the blue. Let's see. Blue and red right here. <laughs> Let's see, I'm interested. So we have Shagaf Oud Azrak and then we have Shagaf Oud Ahmar. Let's see. So this one is like fruity and this one is like an incense uh, honey oud. Oh my gosh, incredible. Okay. okay, so if you think this one is a little too much for you, mix the red one. It definitely works. It's adding that fruitiness and the strong fruitiness in this one, which kind of smells like Kirke and, and uh, Arba Pura, which you know, it's like for me now, it's like, but this also had some Genesequa about it, which was not going into your generic replicas of uh, those perfumes. So I'm very glad that we can use this as a layering fragrance, right? And this is incredible. So try if you just have this one and if you don't have this, Try mixing it with any of the Herba Pura or uh, Kirke's uh, dupes from Latafa or any one of these like reasonable brands, right? Incredible. This is like really working. So this is also going to be a huge thumbs up for me. Amazing. The next one she suggested was Nebras with Choco Musk. Okay, interesting. Because they both are like very deep fragrances. So let's do Nebras. And let's do one sprays only because, you know, Choco Musk. Okay, let's see. Because Nebras is already like a very chocolate, not chocolate, but caramelly, praline, vanilla. 
Choco mask is chocolate mask. Mm. Nebraska has taken over. So choco mask is kind of like, ah, bye. You know, it's not there anymore. It kind of like dissolved into it and maybe I can't make out the difference, but it's kind of not working. Or maybe it's just futile to mix the two. So the next one you've suggested is khamra with French coffee. <laughs> okay, let's see khamra. This is the one which I was supposed to try when I was doing the review for Khamra Kahwa. Kahwa. <laughs> and I forgot to do it, but I told you it's nothing like the Kahwa version of uh, Khamra. No, no. It's too sweet. It's too uh, choky. Like this one would not work for me because it's intensifying this, which I did not want, right? Like this one needs to like get like much lower and no, it's not working. Um, then we have Modest Dough and Choco Mask, which we've already done. Then Mugler Angel with Choco Oh, I don't have Angel. Uh, I have Alien. <laughs> and then we have Al Rehab Soft with Nebras. I also do not have Al Rehab. I just have Al Rehab's uh, Choco Mask. But you guys can try online. I'm reading these. Even if I don't have these perfumes, you guys can try it at home if you have your all those perfumes as well. Now we have another suggestion which says Kiali's Rose Oud with Kiali's Deja Vu White Flower. Okay, so I have your Rose Oud here and then you have your Deja Vu. Let's see because Deja Vu is one which for some reason did not work with me very well. But let's see. Oh yeah, it does. It does work. It works very well. You know that greenness that I don't like in this? It's completely muted. It's completely muted with the beautiful rose and oud in this. Oh my word. Ah, you have made me. Now I would want both those perfumes put together. Mona, if you're listening. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's amazing. I love it. And she's also suggested Choco Musk with Ansam Gold. So we're going to try it since you guys know Ansam is not my cup of tea. So I kind of will do anything to... <laughs> make it work so <clears throat> let's see it makes it better but there's, there's still there's something in Ansam gold it just smells like a cleaning product to me it's like i don't know i just can't get over that that smell it kind of makes me feel not okay it just smells like a bar soap with lye in it like an old school like you know like those bar soaps that you used as detergent nah that is not working for me hun but you introduced me to uh to um Deja Vu White Flower with uh, Rose Oud. This is like a winning combination. So I love you for that. Next, we have my friend Bijal. We kind of know her. I've mentioned her so many times on my channel. I take her recommendations very seriously. So I'm going to take this list. She has asked to layer Khamra with Lolita Lab. I have the Khamra right here. So I'm going to take the Khamra and then layer it with the very beautiful Lolita Lab, which is was like suggested by her and a lot of other people and I bought it and I'm so thankful to them. Oh yes, it does. Oh my goodness. So if you want Khamra to become like orangish, like imagine like Khamra, but then it has like the strong orange creamsicle kind of note or orange popsicle kind of note. It's making it like cooler and also it's giving it that orange edge, kind of also making it slightly creamy. So this definitely works. Wow, this is like a very unique combination. I would have not thought of like layering these two together, but it makes sense because this one is a freshie and this one is like a dark, uh, 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 very boozy fragrance. 101% this layering combination works. Then she's asked us to layer Rare Passion with Rums Gold. Okay. So here's our Rums Gold. And then we have our Rare Passion interesting <laughs> okay if you want rums gold to become a little more serious you want it to take life a little bit more seriously you layer it with this it is probably not my favorite uh, combination because it's turning rums gold into something very green which i do not like it's definitely like making a very very beautiful fragrance but i would probably not be layering this and the last one she says is ysl libre with lolita land or kiali vanilla 28 now, I have Libre Li Parfum, so I don't know if it is going to work because you've just mentioned why is it Libre. This is the Li Parfum, so it's the stronger one. <sighs> what a beautiful fragrance. And then she's asked us to layer it with Lolita Land. 
I feel like I'm conducting a science experiment over here, you know? <laughs> Feels kind of cool. Yup, it does work. It does work. But again, like for me, I would probably not be using this combination. It does work because Libre is like a very serious perfume. So this is just adding like that fun element. So I'm assuming this would be like a very good fragrance to add like fun elements to. So let's try the Lolita Land with Vanilla 28 that she suggested. Oh my God, I have so many perfumes on my table right now. I'm confused now. Whoa, that just squirted all the way to Tokyo. <laughs> Yeah, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Now this one already has vanilla in it, but the vanilla 28 vanilla is a little bit more uh, vanilla, you know, like it's like, like like vanilla essence, how it smells like. So this is definitely working. Would I be using that combo though? No, I would not because vanilla 28, like it becomes stronger when it's like really needed in certain fragrances. Now this one was already like a very uh, creamy orange perfume. So vanilla, adding vanilla 28, 28 to it does make it a little stronger of vanilla but it's not really helping the perfume change so it's kind of not being converted into a different fragrance it's just making it deeper so it's a good combination but i would probably not be using it so the next one is swiss arabian private oud swiss arabian private oud i don't have that perfume with shagaf gold okay inara oud khamra that dna Okay, so I can't work with that because I don't have that perfume. She suggested some uh, ones which I do not have. So let me see if I have any of these. Okay, unfortunately I have none of these perfumes. I have some and I don't have the one she suggested. I can try for you Sublime Oud. Sublime, okay, I know which one she's talking about with Choco Musk. Okay, because that's like a chocolate perfume, right? So here's your Sublime. And then you have your... Choco mask. So let me at least try one for you, you know. Mm, not really working because I think this is like a very, very strong perfume. So when you're layering, also kind of like it matters. And I think I just need like the oil version of this, you know, because the perfume version is not all that strong. Next up, uh, someone has said Amir and Rums Gold. Now, I don't know which one is Amir. Is it Amir? Amir, maybe she's saying this one? Yeah. So this is the Latafa Amir from the Al Noble and then she's asked me to use Rums Gold with it. Interesting because this is like a very strong oud and not a strong, it's a oud fragrance and then your Rums Gold is a super fruity fragrance. Works like a charm. <laughs> it works so well. Yeah, these two are like going really well. So these are my champion again, champion. This is something I'll be using for sure. This is a thumbs up uh, layering combination. It's just made this perfume into a completely beautiful different fragrance, which is it smells like a niche upscale perfume. Really, really nice. Oh my gosh, guys. So these two, yeah. People have suggested Yara. Guys, I've decluttered it, so it's gone, unfortunately. That's it for today, guys. I'm going to continue this in a second video because uh, it's becoming overwhelming and I think this video is going to become a little too long. So I'm going to cut it short and make a part two for this. Also, I think my battery is dying, which is why I suddenly decided to cut this video short. I'm so sorry for that. But I love you so much and catch me in part two for this uh, layering video. Yeah, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, or I'll try and post it as soon as possible. So these release like back to back. Thank you for understanding. I'm sorry. I cut it short because I just saw my, uh, it's only 15% left. So it's going to just like, just get disconnected anytime now. I love you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.